that we're on uh, page 300. Do you need Tiny Sester? Moving up. Okay, Tiny Sester, we're holding. Normally, a regular Yom Tif. Erev Yom Tif, you're not permitted to fast. But Hanukkah and Purim, on Hanukkah and Purim, you're not permitted to fast. But what about Erev Yom Tif? We have Yisrul Chag, right? Yisrul Chag, we never say Tafnun. You're not permitted to fast on Yisrul Chag, the day after Yom Tif. Hanukkah and Purim, Mutal Lesanos Lefneim, you're permitted to fast before them, Ulachreim, and after them. Shtubura, Mutal Lesanos Lefneim, Ulachreim, Chay Behes Bichori. What about if somebody, Chas Vashom, dies Erev Hanukkah? On a Yom Tif, we don't say eulogy, correct? Hespit. Erev Hanukkah, Erev. Purim, you permitted. Ubach kosad b'chanuk osel lisanos lefonov. The bach rice erev chanuk you're not permitted to fast. Chenu gabkein dasa prichodosh, which is not like the mechaber. V'hini yishnog lisanos levdi chanuk tmuras erev rosh chodesh. V'im lishanos minhogam avlechti lo yino kein v'al kaporim osel libza bo tainis sibo. He says, but to decree a tiny tzibur, whether you hold like the Bach or not, that's a personal fast. A personal fast. You want to fast personally, but what about to decree a public fast? The whole community has to fast. It should not be said, Erev, Erev Chanukah. Chen Yom Rishon, Dach Chanukah. Afti V'yochid, Muto Lesanos, Tain Tzibur, Os Ligzavo. But to decree a, a public fast, that you should not. It's not a public. It's not a public. No, it's, it's not a decree. It's not. Okay, so it's not that, that. That's not a public fast. It's not a public fast. And there's a way also to exfoliate yourself on it. You go to a seum on the fast. You go to a seum doesn't absolve you from the fast. You have to fast. Louis is asking what about tiny mechorim? Of course, it's a yomtiv. Erev yomtiv. It's also like a semi yomtiv. So if you have to fast the whole day, fasting in the morning is not a problem. What about after midday? Right? Like every Shodesh. In the morning, we say Tachnun. Mincha, we don't say Tachnun, correct? If you fast, you're fasting the whole day. So, so it's a problem, right? That's why one doesn't fast, every Rosh Chodesh. It's already, after midday, it's already, it has relevance to the Yom Tif itself. That's the reason. Okay? Bechanaku Puri, so Misana Biyud Gim Abadur, 13th of Adar, we do fast. Tiny Sester. Vim Chol Purim Be'echot B'Shabbos. What happens if Purim falls out on Sunday? So Shabbos you're not able to fast. Magdim L'Sanos B'Yom Chamishi. So Tiny Sester is on Thursday. We'll see. It's the rush. The famous rush in, in the Gila. Right? That's that's all the Rishon said. It's never the, the fourth fast we have. Right? Tiny says is not one of those four fasts based on a posuk in, in, in the Novi. Right, but Tiny says there is not mentioned. So they all ask, so what's the source of Tiny? And that's the reason why Tiny says there is the most lenient of all the other fasts. Hagov Tiny says Eino Chovo. He knows because that's they don't serve him cokers. They don't bring it to the office. We'll find out. Okay, I'll check. I'll check. Okay. Hago. The tiny zayn chover. Although it says that you should fast on the 13th of Ador, it's not an obligation. It doesn't mean it's not a chov. It doesn't have the same level of obligation as the four other fasts. That's what it means. He says, therefore, therefore, in a time of need, if you have to be lenient, we could be more flexible regarding this fast. Kagon, muboros, omenikos, woman's pregnant, woman's nursing, ocholoshem bo sakono. I feel the naim person has some kind of pain in his eye. The person has like a migraine type headache. Shemitzarim harbi luisano. If they have tremendous level of pain, they shouldn't 
they shouldn't fast. Yifru arkach, and they'll make it up. They'll make up avoshab riyim. Lo yifru shu min a tzibur. Person's healthy. He should fast together with the tzibur. Mechol purim biyom rishon. Shemisan biyom chamish lefonov. What about if purim falls on Sunday? You're fasting on Thursday. So really, you're not fasting on the proper day, because really, what day should you fast on the 13th? B'chol b'bris milo. And the bris falls out on Thursday. So really, it's what? It's not really the, the, the day that you normally would fast. Muta lechol ala milo. You're permitted to eat. The, we'll see those who are invited to the bris. Ulamocha b'yom shishi yisano ochlin. And on Friday, those who ate, who, part- who were involved, participating in the bris, they should eat on... They should fast on Friday. Makeup. We'll see, we'll see. If you don't fast, you're not supposed to fast Friday. Fridays we don't fast. <coughs> right? There's only one fast you have. A Cerebatev is the only. That's the only fast that could fall out on a Friday. We'll see. You see the, you're not supposed to fast. You're not supposed to fast. No, we we'll eat something. They don't need like a, a formal meal maybe. To eat two. Who doesn't eat Arab Shabbos? They fast till Shabbos? No, 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 no. The side of you, the Gimel Bador, why do you fast on the 13th? Oh. She brings the sauce. Kim me Mordechai vested Nikalo Biom, Yud Gimel Bador, Li Lochi, Laban on Nafsham, is the rush. What happened on the 13th? That's the day we went to battle. So they gathered to fight against, to to save their lives. But you'd Srikim Levaki Shrachim, Vetachnunim, Shiazim Hashem, Li Noki Mirveim. They have to pray to Hashem, supplicate him for Rachmim, to be able to succeed in taking revenge from their enemies. And whenever Jews went to war, they always fasted. When Yeshua took the Jews to battle against Amalek, Moshe was fasting. So there's no question, time Mordechai, when they went to war, the Jews fasted. This fast is referred to as Tiny Sesta, although it's not mentioned in the Gemara. So Hashem listens and is attentive to, the, to every person, a time of his pain, when he fasts and he does tshuva. When he fully does a complete tshuva, as they did in those days. No, 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 no. This is too separate. That's when, when Esther went to Achshverosh. No, they went to battle. This is the 13th before the 14th. The 14th. This is the year later. Okay? Lisanus v'yom chamishi. So it says if Purim falls out on Sunday we fast Thursday. Aval Arab Shabbos and Kovim Tainus Betchil Menikvodo Shabbos. We don't set a Tainus on Friday because it's not respectful of Shabbos. Lefisha Regil Betanus Loma Slichos Tachnunim. Because he says it's not because you're fasting. Because on Slich you'd normally say on a Tainus Slichos Tachnunim. Ber Shabbos Litoch Laskev Yishlo Yuchel Litroch Var. If we have lengthy Tefillah Friday morning. People won't have time to prepare sufficiently for Shabbos. Person was traveling, he didn't realize Thursday was what was the fast day. And he ate. He arrives, Thursday night he arrives home, and he realizes the day, Thursday when he was traveling, was a fast day. She should fast on Friday. Here, the Maril, the Maril was a student of the Ramo. He wouldn't say the shear, his official shear on Tainus Esther, because people were preoccupied preparing for Purim. So if he's going to say the regular shear and people are not able to prepare, unless Purim fell out on Sunday. So it was Sunday, so Thursday, he was able to say the shear, because it's not the day before. Leilech Yeshiva. This is speaking, but the, the Yeshiva didn't have its regular sessions. 
I mean, people who they have the shiur and they come to shul. I mean, how, how many hours they, they study in base medrash? So there it doesn't infringe on the preparation time. Right? Purim is Sunday. So it's like one doesn't say Tachnun, one doesn't say Tzidkos Tzedek on Mincho. <coughs> so he says, therefore, because it's not, he says, this field fast is not an obligation similar to, to the other four fasts. So he says, therefore, people who have pain or difficulty fasting, he says, when it says in the starim, that pain, speaking of people who have pain with their, in their eyes, a muberis avshen mitzteris enim mitzano. The woman's pregnant. Yeah. What do you mean before? There's a regular, there's tiny Esther. It does, doesn't matter. If you, either one, either one, either one. Either before you have the problem or during the fast you have the problem. The person's fast always gets a terrible migraine headache. You break the fast. But even with the start of the fast. He says, the Eliurab is machmi, that unless the woman's pregnant, she's not faced by the fast. doesn't bother her at all. No, she's slightly hungry. She definitely should fast. I mean, according to the Yeshua Siakov, says, no. Because it's not mentioned, if the woman's pregnant, she doesn't even have to begin fast, even, even though she's not affected whatsoever. Well, no, 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 no. If it's not you don't even eat on Yom Kippur, right? We're talking about she has some slight difficulty, right? But the rabbi says no. If she's not in, in, in any way faced by the fast, she should fast. But a woman who gave birth and she's within 30 days of giving birth, gamu mekel, right? Because her health is still precarious within 30 days. Therefore, even if she's not affected, she should not fast. Only if she doesn't feel well. Only if she feels, still feels slightly weak. Let's say she feels fine, 100% fine. Within 30 days. Today, women, most, most women, if you pass the first, especially in the third trimester, women don't fast on any of these, even the fourth fast. No, no, no. No, it's a different day. It's a different day. It's a different day. The, the fast of Esther is, is the 13th. Her fast was, was, was Pesach. It was Pesach. It was a different time of the year. The one that comes before Purim, the day before Purim, is cool at the time of the Esther. Correct, correct, correct. It has nothing to do with Esther. No, nothing. No, no, it has nothing to do with Esther. It's only because it's associated with Purim. And then Rashi explains in Shabbos, it says, why is a woman, why is a woman obligated in, uh, in the reading of the Megillah? So Rashi says that since the Ness actually was precipitated by Esther, Therefore, women, all women are obligated. Not because they're the, the beneficiaries. So it's but I'm sure that's why it's called Tainus Esther. It's the fast of Esther because, because of what Esther had done. That's the reason why we merited the, the miracle of Purim. No, I understand. Again, the Gemara, there's no mention. It, first, let, let's make it clear. There's no mention of Tainus Esther in the Gemara. I mean, they were shown him, they ask, we fast, and they don't refer to it as Tainus Esther. We fast on the 13th. Why? What is the source? So this is the rush. What the mission we're deciding is the rush. When the Gemara says, Yom Ki La Kolhi, that the 13th is when they gathered. So when you gather for battle, as Moshe made a fast, then therefore we fast. That's the rush. That's the source. Okay? V'yifru Achkach, it says, if a person, if you have a bris, if you're not able to fast on Tainus Esther, you should make a makeup fast for the fast that you didn't fast. Leshuas Yaakov had now mistabed lo koi din zal koi veinayim shabetsim over yesho lo vchiyuv shol livrish min atzibo. Meaning, a person who has this eye pain, it's his personal problem. This moment, if he wouldn't have the eye pain, he would fast. Rak achshav mishum koi vleinov lo chi bosis shusul akeivo. So therefore, if when his pain passes, yifra atainis. Masha'enkin mulberes or minika, a woman who's pregnant or a person, woman is nursing. 
The peturas be'etzim afilu enu mitzdaros. We're saying there, we, we rule that a woman, even if she's not pained, she's not phased, she has no obligation to fast. Achim de riabach lora l'mash makim. It's not simple to make up. Does she have to make it up? I think that Hasidic women, they don't fast by any, any fast except Yom Kippur. Including, including Tanya Sesta. Hasidic women don't fast, period. Tisha B'Av, they break their fast, I think, after midday. They fast only half a day. After midday, they break their fast. Of course, they feel that since a woman, especially if, especially if she's in childbearing age, it can actually affect her health. You know, briskers also don't fast. The family, the Salvechiks, they don't fast. On um, any of the fasts, except I, maybe Tisha B'Av they do, but all the other fasts, the women, women, women don't, for the same reason. That because a woman, she, when she's in childbearing age, she gives birth, her health is not where it should be. She's always like catching up, therefore she should not put herself in the position where it may compromise her health. I don't think they do, do fast either. Or maybe the brisk is yes, but others not. Yeah. adopt the custom but you know but you know the women they run in the marathon like the men because they have the same endurance okay yeah lo yifrashu okay but he says if a person's healthy you definitely should fast even if a person's traveling it's difficult he should fast muto lecho lalamilo it says if there's a bris on Thursday, so really it's not the, the day itself, the really it's not the 13th, they're permitted to eat, but he says they should fast on Friday. People who invited to the bris, people who invited to the bris, they argue because the way it's cited, the question is maybe it's only the father of the child, the, the Moel and the Sanduk, because it's there in the Bali Simcha. The invitees are not. But I think if you said the time, Yisu, Dafka, Yom Chamishi, Alkein Asurum, Lecho, Yom Chamishi, Yasu, Asura, Balaylo. So if you have such a situation, you have the Sura at night. Alkein Abali Bris, Ba'atzman, what about the Bali Bris? The father of the child, the Sanduk and the Moel, Mutor Lecho, Yom Chamishi, Achram Milo, they don't have, there's no makeup because this is their simcha. It's their yomtiv. See, the others, even according to Ramot, it's only because they were invited. It's not really their yomtiv. But the Bali Bris, the father, the Moel, and the Sanduk, it's their yomtiv. On yomtiv, you have no obligation to fast, so therefore there's no, no the basis for makeup. You don't have to make up. Of course, you can't have a bris without guests being invited. How do you celebrate without other people? So who's celebrating? It's these three individuals. You invite people. You have to invite people. Otherwise, what kind of simcha is it? Let's say they would not be invited, correct? They'd have to fast. The father, because he had the child, he doesn't have to fast, right? Not because he's an invitee, right? The person lets him was invited, he can't make. Can't make it. He fasts, right? But the father, it's his simcha. The moel who's circumcised, it's his simcha. The Sandak, it's this simple. They're essential to the actual, to the bris itself. The other people are not essential to the bris. There is, sure, there is, there is a makeup. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Unless a person is a chol, unless a person is a cholish ishbosakona. You should make it up. No, no, because you, you had, you had an obligation. You had an obligation. You couldn't fulfill your obligation. It's like Tashlumi. You have to make it up. Lechol biyom chamishi achar milo bein tzich lesan slum of knal sim tov kufnu tesif tes lim tisha bov. I pre begodim shekosav da mekel linu kedas ramo lo hipsit. Pre begodim writes that if one is lenient and he falls position of the ramo, lo hipsit. Chaim begmok tziyob shusiak v'skimul das yishchol. Now it's interesting. There was once an incident, like in, a, in the shul, rabbi in the on the like mentioned, east side, west side, and it was, um, and it was a, re it wasn't, it wasn't Tainus Esther, it was a regular fast, and he said, everybody's permitted to eat at the bris, and they all ate, the, uh, the people who, who normally maybe would have fasted, and they had, 
This is specifically Tainus Esther. We're not talking about a regular fast. Okay? So I remember I said, and somebody shared it with us, it's a mistake. He, he confused it with this situation here. Even this is a question. He says, you have, the Prima Gautama says, you have a right to follow the Ramah regarding Tainus Esther. It, but even Tainus Esther, those who argue with the Ramah, and they say, no, you treat this like any other fast, that the only ones that are permitted to eat are only the Balai Bris, but the invitees to the, to the Suda, they're not permitted to eat. So you want to invite other people to celebrate, to so have it at nighttime. Okay? That's a nitche. That's called a nitche. That was a nitche there also. That person, what happened there was a nitche. But it wasn't a nitche of Tainus Esther. It was a nitche of, other, of, of another, of, of the regular Tainus. Of course you're not allowed. Yeah, sure. Even the Bali Bris are not permitted to eat. If it's a regular bona fide Tainus, no, they're not permitted to eat. Tell you what about it's a nitche. You have that on the day, and it's the thirteenth, so you have the you have the suit at night time. The cell. Mm. Of course, you do the bris during that. Of course, you always do the bris. On Yom Kippur, you do the bris during the daytime. Yom Kippur, you have the bris when you have the suda. At night time, right? That's when you celebrate. Ah, you, you but you're breaking your fast in either case. Doesn't make a difference. But it's called suda's bris. Right. No, 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 no. Not at the tishu. Tishbev is the only day you, you forward it rather than that. Uh, no, no. How could you have it afterwards? Over there, it says, Lo makdim purnos of the nafsho. Here, we're, we're commemorating the destruction of, of the Beis Hamidrash. We're going to start it. We're going to have it earlier. Right? So that the Mosheh says, Lo makdim purnos of the nafsho. Correct, correct. That's, you know, a person who's a professional moyo. And today, you know, Baruch Hashem, most moyim, if they're good, they have every day of the week they're doing a bris. They never say tachna. Now, if they if they're at a minion, the minion will never say tachna. Right? It's like the father of the of the you know, you know. So, but they never say tachna. Will never say tachna unless they retire. Okay. Yeah, why shouldn't you tell him? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a simcha. It's, he's, it's like having a chosen. You have a chosen in shul. Should he tell them that he's not a chosen to, so they should say tachna? He's during a sheva bracha, so he's in shul. They don't say tachna. Right? Special people have to get to the office early. Definitely should tell him. Okay.